there's no family in the house, so... <sighs> I need to find them. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? I've got water for breakfast. What are you guys having for breakfast? I guess technically water doesn't count as breakfast because you're not really breaking your fast with water. It doesn't have any calories in it. But I did spy this leftover cucumber. I guess I'm having cucumber for breakfast. What are you guys having for breakfast? Check out our cute little chickies. They're growing up, they're getting bigger. One of them likes to come and hop on top of this water bottle and then hop up on top of the edge here. And it's pretty cute. Let me give you guys a little taste of what you can expect in today's video. We are going to be announcing and featuring the winners from the $500 giveaway. So that's happening today. And this is the second video where we're running our new segments. Uh, full disclosure, I have not gotten a chance to read the comments from the last video yet. I don't know where my family is. I went for a run and they were sleeping and now they're gone. And I can tell they're gone because the house is, the house is pretty much spotless and that's a dead giveaway that there's no family in the house, so. <sighs> I need to find them. All right, but before we find, what the, what's going on with this camera, man? I, sometimes I just want to give it all up and just shoot regular. I got all kinds of wood down here. We'll be building the chicken coop real soon for Hillary for those chickens. And so I got all the wood sitting there. I'm letting it dry out for a little bit because I don't like to build things with wet wood because it'll start to twist and do all that kind of funny stuff. And no, no, I don't want that. But yeah, chicken coop coming. And while I'm down here, Southwest Carpet Fest, feature a friend. One of our new segments, Travis Johnson hosted this year of Carpet Fest. This is a 2017 Carpet Fest and his company is Living Legless Reptiles. I know that there's a shirt on the way here from him for me. Unfortunately, I'm not wearing it yet, but I'll still give him a shout out because he's my buddy, my pal, my friend and I'm featuring him today, right now, right here with you guys. He's got really cool animals. I mean, you guys have probably seen him here on the channel several times. We have the blood python pairing together. He's my buddy, he's my pal, lives right down the street, but I miss him. Link in the description for his website. Ow! <laughs> Pinch it! Next segment. Don't worry guys, I won't keep announcing all the segments. I'm just getting used to this. Hey bro, how's Halo? <laughs> She's doing good. She's still a big beast. Still a big monster snake. She was pinching my finger in between the finger on the plexiglass there. Look, I left an indentation. Man, that was a good little... These snakes are strong, man. Oh yeah, this is the hold. This is the hold, that, this is what it's all about. Get her wrapped up on your legs so that you don't have to hold, support her whole body weight and you don't get out of breath. Hello, I love you. I'm not gonna wear today because I don't have anybody to hold the camera. I need to find my family. Seriously, what did you guys have for breakfast? Patsy LaRue, our phantom sunfire het purple. She had fresh shed this morning, so I figured I should probably bring her out and show you. Cause that's what I like to do when a snake's freshly shed. Cause you know, they always try to share a snake and it's in shed and it's a big pain in the ass. Yeah. Nope, we're sharing snakes that have fresh skin. Not working on building new stuff. This girl, Patsy LaRue, named after Hillary's grandmother. Hi Patsy. All right, we need to find my family for real. But first, <laughs> what, what, blue light. I was doing lots of uh, videos for the library. I'm still filming them, working on them, but they don't, it doesn't look like much right now because I broke most of it down so that I could do the vlog for you guys. But let me know if you want to see some of the clips from the videos I've been making for the library and I'll, maybe I'll show you some of the bloopers or something. If you want, uh, leave a comment down below if you'd like to see the clips from the library even if they're just the bloopers, leave a comment down below, please, please, 
Please, please leave me a comment. <laughs> All right, this family hunt calls for a wide angle lens. We're going wide, we'll find them with this thing. Get your cocoa blocks. I'm coming, family! You guys remember when I crashed on this thing? Yeah, that sucks. I'm not doing that again. Mm -mm. I can tell I'm heavier than I used to be because the one wheel is having a real issue making it up the hill with me on it. <laughs> Must be all the cucumbers. There's in and out burger. Sometimes you get foot fatigue from this thing. I just have to stop and stretch my feet for a minute. <sighs> Day, though I can see why they came out here. Have faith, I will find them. It's a small town. Hi. Hi, how are you? It's me. I'm glad I smiled at you. Yeah, me too. Hey, what are you doing on the road, Mister? <laughs> I was trying to get out of the way. I saw you coming, I was like, when I saw some car coming the other way, I was like, well, I better find a driveway. Yeah, well, not everybody would do that, so I appreciated it. Too bad, Dee. You see him in the moss, bud? These guys got. Oh, what the hell? Focus on my face. Look, you see him These guys the got the right plan. What'd you find, T? Oh. Titi. <laughs> I got <gotcha>. you. <laughs> Stay up on the high spot, T. You get deep. Mama. You're okay. Mama. Isn't that nice? There you go, T. I won't go anymore. <laughs> hey, Lemo. Hey, Lemo. <laughs> hey. It's <laughs> gonna get deep right there. <laughs> hi, I thought I heard you, but I can't see you. Well, this is nice. Look at all those little tadpoles. So cool. Mind helping us catch some tadpoles? I don't know. I will help you. But first. What do you know? I know. Tadpoles. What about tadpoles? That they're baby frogs. They have tails, no legs. They're basically a head with the tail attached. There's a bunch right here. I've caught and they're the second stage of the frog's life cycle, and they live in the water, and that's oh, all. Oh, what's the first stage? Um, eggs. What about the third stage? Polywog. And then? A frog with a, a low tail, and then the frog. And I gotta get back to catching them. Man, look at how tiny some of these little guys are. Super tiny. I know, but the big one's not. What do you... What the heck is that? Oh, look at that. I think that's a dragonfly larva. We found a dragonfly larva. Nice. What does it look like? 
It looks dangerous. What do you know? Dragonfly Yava. <laughs> what about dragonfly larva? That it could give you a pretty bad bite and when it sinks the bottom and, and in a while it'll turn into a dragonfly and that's all I know. <laughs> if anybody can confirm below that, I'll go look it up right now actually. Okay, so I did a little bit of research because calling that thing a dragonfly larva just didn't seem right. Like I've seen dragonfly larva and it, it just wasn't wasn't quite wasn't quite it. So it's in the order of Megaloptera, which is alder flies, Dobson flies, and fish flies. I'd never seen a fish fly, I don't think, but that thing <laughs> thing looked like it could do some damage. Um, those big old pinchers. <laughs> All right, let's. Let's do the, uh, we'll announce the giveaway winners in a moment, but first, complaining corner. All right, into the complaining corner. And what on God's green earth will we complain about today? Hmm, hmm, how about, how about, how about people, you know what, I think it's gonna be often people that we complain about in the complaining corner. <laughs> people suck, people who tag you in posts that have n absolutely nothing to do with you. Nothing at all to do with you, not even the slightest. Just to, I don't know, try and get as many people to look at it as tag like a hundred people, or even just several people, or just a select group of people that have, that have nothing to do with the post whatsoever. Nothing at all. Like that I'm not in the picture, I'm not in any way involved with anything in the picture, anything at all. I'm just tagging it, just so I don't know, so that I'll see the post. It's annoying. There's enough stuff to try and keep track of, let alone trying to, filter through the things I'm tagged in that, I'm, that aren't relevant. So, uh, granted that I am in the middle class and we're here in the United States, I'm willing to bet that 99% of the stuff I complain about here in the complaining corner is going to be first world problems. So get used to it. All right, now to the solution stool. Oh, oh. Uh, is that gonna happen every time? Okay, solution stool. Still don't have a partner. You take the solution stool still. Uh, phone, 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 you there. So the solution to this, hmm, I don't know. It's not grounds enough to block somebody. It takes a lot for me to block somebody. I rarely block people on any kind of platform whatsoever just because they're not really a big reason to <laughs> reach out to each person and ask them to stop tagging me. Nah, I think I'd rather just complain about it. I don't think there is a good solution for this one. I think people are just gonna keep doing that no matter what. So there's no solution. Solution stool, you're fired. Okay, okay, it's time for the giveaway and so it was a $500 giveaway if you don't remember you had to submit a video And I really wanted to do stuff for uh, for charity and just whatever your video was uh, and submit it and Explain what you thought or just be creative. Just whatever it was a video then the, there's winners <laughs> Contest sorry my brain my brain is not working anymore. There's three places third place gets $100 second place gets 150 and third place gets 250 for a total of $500. Sorry, I'm not exorbitantly rich or I would give away more, trust me. And also I'd like to give a big thank you to our, our Patreon supporters because they all signed off on this. Well, at least the ones that replied <laughs> signed off on, on this and uh, so they're, they're a big part of why this is happening. So thank you to those folks as well. Um, also, let me get this thing, uh, I don't like where it's sitting. I got all this stuff all over the place. I'm gonna, Come on, come on, come on, get it together, let's go. All right, here we go. The third place goes to Caden O'Brien. Hi, my name's Caden O'Brien. I'm 18 years old. I own a small pressure washing company, um, and due to all this coronavirus, I've been getting less work. Um, we're moving in 20 days, and I, I need the money to um, support these animals, and I have, I'm working on getting funds for a new reptile room so that I can have somewhere to put them when, once we finish the move. Um, so I really think that I would benefit from the money because these reptiles, uh, if I don't find about, I've projected about $4,000 that um, I'll have to start selling them off because I won't have anywhere to keep them. Um, so these are my animals. I have ball pythons in there different morphs. I have two chameleon nosy bees, a Euromastix, 
and a red foot tortoise. I didn't pick you, Caden, just because your last name sounds exactly like my first name. I like that I like that Caden is working and trying hard to do what he can and owns his own business at a young age of 18. That's very impressive. And I know that's a small amount, $100, towards your goal of what you need to make everything work over there, but I still hope it helps a little bit and maybe people will find you on, on this uh, thing here and, and reach out to you. I'll, I'll put your information down below if you don't mind. Uh, if, you, if you do mind, let me know and I'll take it off. <laughs> but uh, here's winner number two. Hi, Brian. It's Gracie. Um, I think you should donate the money to a um, homeless shelter because they don't really have a roof over their head to protect them as much as we do in this virus. So I think you should donate to a homeless shelter. It's not that creative, but I just feel like they're mostly in need. So that's what I think. That was, of course, our friend Gracie, who we met in Arlington this past September or whatever month that was. Man, all track of time has gone out the window. Um, that was February. Wow. So, <laughs> Gracie, congratulations. I mean, I, I'm going to go and bring uh, $150 worth of food to our local shelter. So, thank you for your idea. I thought that was very selfless of you and I, I really liked it for that reason. And, uh, and the only reason you came in second is because of this next video here. On Valentine's Day 2002, I went through one of the most dramatic experiences of my life. I lost my mom. She was my world, my everything. Until this day, as an adult, I still grieve. The Foundation for Grieving Children is a charity that helps bring counseling and other resources to kids during this hard time of grief of their lost loved ones. This is something that helps kids both mentally and emotionally through the hard times of losing a loved one. And it's something that I wish I had when I had my loss. They make it their mission to bring these services to kids in need. Thank you, and this is my video. Mr. Rios, I commend you for A, sticking within the rules, which a lot of videos didn't do. Still, thank you guys for your videos that, that weren't under a minute long, but that was one of the rules, and I clearly said that if you didn't keep it under one minute, it would be disqualified, then whatever. But I still enjoyed the videos, either way, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, so, Mr. Rios, I had a lot of friends uh, growing up who I saw firsthand how much their lives were affected by not having their parents involved in their lives. So that's uh, kind of a thing that just touches really deeply with me, and I, I liked the, the selflessness as, as well as your video um, and, and the creativity. You, yours was one of the more creative ones that was submitted, so uh, a lot, that tied in with the, the message behind it and the idea behind it. That's going to be the first place. $250 will be donated to that foundation from us. Thank you guys very much. That, I thought this was a different kind of giveaway. It was a little more like... Let's team up together and, and give to somebody else type of giveaway. So it felt like the right way to do it. And I'm glad that it, that it went the way it did. I'm, again, thank you everybody for your submissions. Um, but now it's time for the revival of Music Monday. Let's go outside for this. Like to get the indigos out in the sun on a regular basis. Yeah. I say let's come outside where it's nice and there's people going crazy with their weed whackers. It's just weed whacking season, I guess. Okay, Music Monday. <laughs> I didn't have time to do anything original. I've been doing way too many videos with the library stuff and I just, I didn't have time to create an original piece for Music Monday, which is what I like to do with all the Music Mondays is have some original music, whether it's just used as background or whatever, something that I recorded. So, I'm gonna take you guys back to one of the very first YouTube videos I ever uploaded. It's a little disgusting if you don't like feces, <laughs> but here it is.
is this crap? It's coming out your butt, and let me tell you what, it's smelly stinky fuck. What is this crap? It's coming out your eyes, it's flowing really fast, it's sticking up the grass. What is this crap? It just keep flying out, you got no time to waste, it's drying up the trap. What is this crap? It's going slip, slap, slap, the crap, crap, the dippy, dippy, hippy, hoppy, split, this blue. You wreck your mind if you think that I'll be cleaning that poop. Some of you guys might remember that from the early Triple B TV days. <laughs> I'll, I'll never, I love that track. I wrote that track. And of course the video that went along with it. That's uh, one, of my, one of my prouder moments I would say on YouTube. Uh, I'm really happy with that song. And I'm still happy with that song. And oh, jeez, That's really stinky. My goodness. Speaking of poop. Oh my God. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> Disgusting. At least it didn't get on me. Man. Gross. Oh, it did get on me. Oh, man. Oh. Indigo poop is foul. Ugh. <laughs> hey, at least I don't have to clean his cage out, right? Good boy. I gotta clean it. I gotta clean it? Yeah. <sighs> we have nice big dinner tea. Yeah. Are you there? Yeah. Lea Moon, are you here? Yeah. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Can you say hi, Daddy? Hi, Daddy. <laughs> what did you have for dinner? Um. Did you eat a bunch of ice cream with Daddy? Yeah. Yeah. Was it nummy? Yeah. You like ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I just had Thai food, Thai curry, a bunch of sticky rice, a whole pint of Ben and Jerry's. No, it was Hagen Dazs. Brain. Where's my brain today, T? I think I left it in the creek. Oh. <laughs> Who's hungry? Nobody. Nobody. That is the first time I've seen that frog turn down anything. T, I don't know what happened.